Hello, everyone. Woof, woof. The days are getting colder lately. At school, Mayu and Yuki showed up with matching scarves. Yuki was so proud to wear the scarf Mayu had made for her. I have to say, it looked truly wonderful. I wanted one just like it. Woof. And I wasn't the only one. All our classmates were jealous and wanted the same wonderful scarves. Yuki tried her best to protect Mayu from all the requests. But Mayu is just too kind. She couldn't say no to everyone. Since she couldn't knit scarves for everyone, she offered to teach us how to knit our own. It was such a wonderful idea. Woof! Mayu was a bit shy at first, but she loves knitting and is really good at it. Once she made up her mind, she was determined to teach us all. But then Mayu realized she didn't have enough yarn for everyone. Luckily, Nico came up with a wonderful solution. At Nico's smile garden, Mene had plenty of yarn, more than enough to make tons of scarves. So we went to visit Mene. Mayu was amazed to see all the yarn Meme had. Plus, she found out they shared the same passion for knitting. Once Mayu calmed down, she explained her project, and Meme generously offered her all the yarn she needed. The next day, we were back at school, ready for Mayu's knitting class. While Satoru and Nico were busy trying to decode an old book about wolves, the rest of us were all set to learn from Mayu. Step 1. Choose the yarn color. There were so many options. It was wonderful. <laughs> Once we all had our yarn balls, it was time to follow Mayu's instructions. But it was really tough. We had to be super careful not to poke ourselves with the netting needles. Believe me, it hurts. Oof. Knitting a scarf takes a lot of precision, and we were all struggling a bit. But Mayu was so patient, helping each of us whenever we got stuck. Iroha was determined to make a scarf for Satoru, and Mayu was more than happy to help her. Watching Mayu, I could tell she was truly happy. Outside, Zakuro was spying on us. She was jealous of Mayu's wonderful scarves and dreamed of giving one to someone she loves. After working hard, it was finally time to go home. While Mayu was saying goodbye to our classmates, Yuki noticed Zakuro nearby. They decided to follow her into the forest and found her trying to knit, though she wasn't doing very well. With her wonderful kindness, Mayu just couldn't help but approach Zakuro and offer her help. Love is a universal feeling, something we all share. So even though they were technically enemies, Mayu wanted to help Zakuro. But Yuki didn't like it at all. And the tension eventually made Zakuro snap. In her frustration, she summoned a crab monster. I sensed the danger immediately, so I rushed over with Iroha, Satoru, and Niko to join Mayu and Yuki. We had to save the poor crab, but Satoru explained that crabs could move both on land and in water, which was going to make things tough. On top of that, the crab could shoot foam at us. I slipped and fell. Oof! Iroha and Yuki didn't manage to dodge the crab's attack either, and soon we were all stuck in the foam. Mayu was the only one left standing. She tried using her magical threads to catch the crab, but it kept cut on them with its claws. Zakuro was sure that her monster was going to win, but Mayu refused to give up. She had learned so much recently, 
she had overcome her shyness and made so many wonderful new friends. Even if something breaks, you can always mend it, thread by thread, until it's stronger than before. With that determination, Mayu used even stronger threads that the crab couldn't cut. Thanks to her, we managed to free the crab from the darkness. Nico restored its energy and brought back its smile. Zakuro was frustrated by yet another failure, but Mayu tried once again to make peace with her. Unfortunately, Zakuro's anger was still too strong. Saturu then shared his latest discoveries about the ancient texts he had been decoding. The story of the wolves he was studying seemed so sad. Is it really impossible for everyone to make peace? I wish everyone could just be friends. That would be so wonderful. Woof, woof.